So why are you making such an effort in this town if you're just going back to Phoenix? I hadn't planned on it. When I got back here, I realized it's still home. My great-grandfather's factory brought people here for work. A town was created. I can't just throw that away. In Lifetimes, you light up my Christmas. Kim Fields plays Emma, who returns to her hometown, uh, built around her family's Christmas light factory, only to discover that the lights have gone dim in the once festive town. Yeah, this leads her to stay in town longer than she had planned, to reconnect with an old flame, and to set hearts and the town ablaze again. And Kim Fields is here today. Hello. Hey, how Can I just say, your necklace game is on point. The thank boots you, are you, on point. Oh, oh, you look oh. great. <laughs> thank you. Oh, my side game is on yeah, point. On point as well, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, leg day is real. <laughs> it is all dialed in. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Making this, you were saying you've been shooting it. You were in Vancouver. Yes. It wasn't that long ago. Mm -hmm. the, the character here is really honoring her family's legacy, right? Yes. That seems like something that would be a, a fun thing to dive into. I love that about the character. Did you love that about her? I enjoyed that very much. I love um, history. Yeah. And so family history is just fantastic. And they were able to incorporate some of my personal family photos from uh, a few of my uh, generations gone by, that sort of thing, like my great great uncle. Oh, wow. That sort of thing in the light factory. So I, I really do love honoring. Um, legacy, you know, and what your family has built. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I know that you love that your character's family had this Christmas light factory. Why do you love that so much? Well, I love the idea of running parallel themes in terms of the actual light factory and then your own inner light, you know, um, and being able to, as you so wonderfully said in that intro, um, you know, when, when your light goes dim a bit and being able to find ways, find people um, that help reconnect you with that light and then to, you know, start to brighten it again. Yeah, I really do like that because as we mentioned here a lot, that the holidays can be a really tough time for a lot of yeah. people and being able to connect with something positive in mm -hmm. a new way yes. is important for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so a little different note, I hear that your two sons are in this <laughs> yeah. and one of them could have had a bigger part, but thanks to mom, <laughs> doesn't have as Did big of a part. You, you cut him out. Yeah, he's mad. <laughs> he's letting us know. Now, what went down here? So the oldest is Sebastian. The youngest is Quincy. Uh, Quincy was actually in the Lifetime movie Pride and Prejudice last summer, or this past summer. No big uh, deal. Same director. Yeah, incredible. Know, and he had right. a speaking part in that. So in this one, he's like, wait a minute, I don't, I don't speak in, in this one. How did, how did I, what, <laughs> who, who, who's in charge here? Right. Uh, but Sebastian, um, he and I uh, were in the scene in the Christmas tree lot, because of course you have to have a Christmas yeah. tree lot scene and so uh, uh, I was supposed to ask him at the end of the scene excuse me we'd like this one and he comes over and he gets the tree and he was just so just so wonderful and so precious and I'm just just beaming at him as proud mom and as soon as Rhonda the director yells cut I said oh no I must look like creepy tree lady checking out the tree boy. Oh, because you were because smiling at him so happy. So, happy. <laughs> <laughs> so it read weird. Yeah, it read totally weird. And then I could not get it right in every take. And so when That's Sebastian funny. saw the movie, he said, it, they trimmed it. They, they cut my... He said, you couldn't act well enough for me. <laughs> like, he did too good of a job. <laughs> exactly. How are you going to make it up so, to him now? I know, i got to make it up to him. I'm sorry, Sebastian. <laughs> um, you also executive produced this yes. movie, which has its perks, because you were able to call up your sisters from Facts of Life, get yes, them on absolutely, this project. Absolutely. So why do you think they would be a good fit? Well, you know, to me, family um, and holidays kind of go together, and so does um, memories and nostalgia. Uh, and so when you, you know, you add all of that up, that kind of screams out, um, you know, connect with your with your family. That um, will also mean something to fans, as well as my own personal uh, relationships with them. And so to call them up uh, individually and ask them if they would, and they were so happy for me. Uh, and, and said, you know, sure, and we just, you know, made the schedule work. And even Nancy, who was going through an extremely difficult uh, time unexpectedly with a family emergency, she still just said, you know, I'm going to keep my commitment to you, Kimmy, and I'm going to do what I can. And so she did her part uh, as well. And it was, um, it was really great. Yeah. It was really, really I, great. I think that is such a nice touch. And it's back to what you said, like there's this like parallel thing, this layered, like, get, you know, paying homage to the legacy right. and everything like that playing in here too. 
you obviously worked together with them a lot when yeah. you were kids. You guys were a lot younger. Sure. What was the difference this time around? Um, well, you know, Lisa and I actually worked together back in 2014. So, um, and even then, it was it was you, you know just it's 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 almost like riding a bike. You know, you just plug back in. It's like oh yeah yeah, and this is when you do oh yeah, and um, you also respect how you've grown first and foremost as actors. Uh, and then as people, you know, um, but it was a lot of fun behind the scenes, a lot of fun. It was great taking pictures with Aunt Mindy and Aunt Lisa and the kids and, um, you know, an extra beat that Quincy, the youngest one, has with them at the end of their scene. Apparently, they're able to act better than me because they didn't get Quincy's little part cut. They, okay. they didn't smile at him inappropriately. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Quincy, no scenes of love. <laughs> All right, time to play a little game. You All ready right. for this? We're taking a little cue from the movie here. We're calling okay. it Lighting Up Life. Ooh. We're going to ask you what lights up different parts of your life, give you two options to choose from. You ready for yes. this? All right, first up, what lights up your mom life more? You're cuddling your kids at home or going for a picnic in the park? Ooh, um, cuddling at home. All right. Cuddling at home. What lights up your dating life more, night out on the town or a movie night at home? Movie night at home. Chris and I are big on, on, on you know, just kind of chilling at home and, and watching movies. Being relaxed. All right, yeah. what lights up your morning? A good breakfast or a well-made cup of coffee? Girl, I have a coffee line. <laughs> of course, I'm going to say coffee, and I'm going to say Signature Blends by Kim Fields. Oh, <laughs> yes. Coffee in the morning, or is it an all-day affair? Uh, you know, sometimes I do coffee, and then I kind of ease into tea. But, you know, again, uh, with uh, Signature Blends by KF. <laughs> SignatureBlendsbyKF.com, <laughs> um, and uh, it'll get your coffee life right. But basically, <laughs> that's uh, what gets me going, definitely. Yeah. Is there a particular and blend of all of them? You know what's funny? Uh, just for this, and because I'm entrepreneur extraordinaire and uh -huh. marketing queen extraordinaire, uh, I asked my team to create a holiday uh, collection, a limited run, uh, a limited series called, are you ready for this, The Kiss of Light. Ooh. And it's a nice holiday box full of coffee, tea, hot cocoa, and uh, when you you know do a certain amount of purchase, you get a little giveaway of the Ben and Emma blend. All right, you send one over, we'll try. I know. It. Yeah, we'll I know. It. Absolutely. Call people back here. Okay, final one. What lights yes. up your romance life more? Your man doing chores or coming in just a towel? Hmm. <laughs> Doing chores in a towel. Oh, okay. So we'll combine yeah. it. Chores on. Well, two for there. Yeah, I, I basically wanted to know because you know my wife would always be like, "It's the chores. That's it." So yeah. maybe f combine the whole thing. It's quite utilitarian. I mean, <laughs> you got to put this a little one, spice up in. There. This one we're leaving yes. open ended. What lights up your Christmas? Oh, love. Absolute love fuels my Christmas. Love it. Wonderful. Good thank answers. you so much thank for coming you guys. in. Thank yeah. you. Have an amazing Christmas. Thank you. you and guys you too. can catch Kim Fields in You Light Up My Christmas when it premieres on Lifetime December 1st, 8 p.m. Eastern. We can't wait for some of that KF coffee. That's right. <laughs>